It's Monday morning, you're going to work, and as usual, we stop to have a cup of coffee. And you notice that this time, you pay 50% more for the coffee than you paid last Friday. Most people call that inflation. And what if I told you that that's not inflation? The increase of price, it is not inflation. However, the governments around the globe benefit very highly for the definition. So stay to the end, because towards the end of this video, I will explain to you why most people are being taught the wrong definition of inflation. And of course, first let's talk about what is really inflation. Inflation is the depreciation of purchasing power. Inflation is the increase of the amount of money in circulation. Money, just like everything else, it is a product. And the more you have of that product, the less value that product will have. So the question is, is it possible for the price to increase without more money coming to circulation or without government creating more money? And the answer is yes. For instance, at one time I was in Germany and the price of tomatoes went up. And the reason why the price of tomatoes went up is because there was a storm in Turkey. And Turkey at the time was the main supplier of tomatoes to Germany. Now, that disruption on the supply chain or that shortage on supply caused prices to go up. But the prices that went up were the price of tomatoes and things made with tomatoes such as tomato sauce and pizza. That increase on price of tomatoes did not spread throughout the entire economy. Once again, inflation, it is caused by the increase of the supply of money. Money, just like everything else, is a product. And the more of that product in circulation, the less value it has. I can give one simple example to you. Let's say, for instance, all you have in your life, it is $100. You have no more money and you have no expectation of receiving any more money. All you have is $100. Now, if that's your situation, let's say, for instance, someone offered you a sandwich for $10. You're going to think a lot before spending $10 because $100 is all you have. The opposite is also true. Let's say you have $1 billion. You can easily spend $10 on a sandwich, meaning the more money you have, the less value that money is going to have. And the same way that works for you as an individual, it works for everyone else. So the more money in circulation, all else equal, the less value that money is going to have. And it's not just the expansion of the money supply. When government expands money faster than the increase of demand, that's when the depreciation of power will occur. So inflation is the increase of the money supply. Now, if you increase the money supply on a slow pace and the demand increases faster than you increase the supply, the increase of prices or the depreciation of purchasing power does not occur. For instance, with Bitcoin, Bitcoin is inflationary. There's always new Bitcoin coming to circulation. However, the increase of demand for Bitcoin goes faster than the inflation rate of Bitcoin or the rate of issuance of new Bitcoin. And that's why we see an increase of value on Bitcoin versus the dollar, for instance, because the speed of the inflation also matters. If you look at the history of fiat currencies or government issued currencies, you're going to see that historically they always lose value. Look at the US dollar, for instance. You can see that the US dollar has lost over 95% of its value since the creation of the Federal Reserve or the Central Bank of the US. And that happened even though the US dollar between that time and now has become the world global currency, which means a huge increase of demand for the US dollar. Imagine how much more depreciation would have occurred if the US dollar was used only within the United States of America. So if inflation is the increase of the money supply, some of you will be asking what part of the money supply. And I'm talking about M2. If you do not know what M2 is, M2 is monetary base, which is money created by the Federal Reserve, coins and bills being issued in circulation, and deposit on commercial banks. If you want to find out more about that, I have made a video comparing Bitcoin with the monetary base, link for that on the description below. So if inflation is the increase of the money supply and not the increase of prices, why are we led to believe that increase on prices is inflation? And the reason is very simple. If we all understand that inflation is the increase of the money supply, we are going to hold governments, those who increase the money supply, accountable for the depreciation of purchasing power of our money and for the increase of prices of products on shelves. Now, if we believe that inflation is the increase of price, we can see the merchant 
putting new price tags on the products. We're going to be blaming the merchants and the producers and never going to become aware of the true cause of the problem, which are government and central banks increasing the money supply. That's the reason why we are led to believe that inflation is the increase of prices because it takes our attention from the true cause and makes us focus on the symptom, the consequence of the increase of the money supply. Now I'm going to give you an extra bonus. In the beginning of this video, I talk about how we can have an increase of price on something specific such as tomatoes, which are witnessed here in Europe. But there's one product that's not like tomato. There's one product when that product increases in prices or have a supply shock, everything else increases with it. And that is petrol because petrol is energy and everything that we consume has energy. Everything we eat, everything we buy has been transported and has required petrol on the production and on the supply chain. So whenever petrol goes up, everything else goes up with it. So that is the one product that whenever the price goes up, we're going to have the consequences throughout the entire economy. And with this, I wrap up this video. If you got value from this video, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and above it all, share this video with someone else who can benefit from this. This is it for now. See you guys in the next video. Oh, by the way, are you new to crypto and you need a crypto basis course? I have precisely made that link for that on the description below.